Today we're looking at the most filmed mansion in cinema history. Chances are you've seen the Greystone Mansion, aka the Doheny Mansion, in several of your favorite movies and or TV shows. That's because the Greystone Mansion is a hot spot for TV and movie production. We're going to be looking at the mansion's historical past, what movies and TV shows were filmed here, all the while giving you a tour of the vicinity of the property. Costing over $3 million, this 46,000 square foot home with 55 livable rooms was a gift from an oil tycoon, Edward Doheny Sr. to his son, Edward Jr. as a wedding gift. Built in 1926, this was, at the time, the second biggest house in California. It sat on 12.58 acres and took three years to complete. But only five months of the completion of the house, Doheny Jr. was shot dead, alongside of his friend, Hugh Plunkett. It was ruled a suicide murder, but there was still tons of speculation to what may have really happened. It still remains a mystery to this day. Edward Doheny Sr. lived in this house until he passed away in the 1950s. The city of Beverly Hills purchased the home and property and turned it into a public park maintaining all the history and mystery. The Oscar-winning movie, There Will Be Blood, was loosely based on this story. Not only that, but some of it was filmed here. Now most of you will remember the iconic bowling alley scene. Now that bowling alley was not originally a part of the mansion, but did become part of the mansion after the movie, There Will Be Blood. Now, of course, There Will Be Blood was just one of the many movies that were filmed here. There were over 100 plus filming projects that took place here, making it the most filmed mansion in cinema history. You get an absolutely incredible downtown view of LA. I think that's Beverly Hills over there. The Greystone Mansion has a long, long history of being the backdrop of many movies. Dating all the way back to 1947 with one of the first movies ever filmed here, Forever Amber. Now I can't be 100% sure, but this certainly looks like one of the filming locations right here. Now this is actually one of the many beautiful gardens on the property. Quite a bit of the Big Lebowski was filmed right here. Let's take a look at all the movies that were filmed roughly in this area right here. Some of you might be familiar with this entryway. Notice the tile and notice the style of the wood framing and the walls. And also take note of the stairs in the background. This is the movie National Treasure. Notice the close up of the hanging lamp and the door behind it. Now here we are looking through that door and if you look closely you can see the lamp and you can see the tile floor there. This is where the National Treasure scene was shot. And just note that that tile is undeniably more famous than some of the actors out there. Here's another scene from The Big Lebowski. Notice the flooring, notice the fireplace, and notice the bookshelf blocking a doorway. Before we completely move on, let's look at a couple more things that were filmed here in the lobby.
Now even though this is not in the lobby, we cannot forget that the Ghostbusters were also filmed inside the mansion. Right here are the stairs that Steve Martin runs up in all of me. This place is absolutely incredible. Here's a filming location for Batman and Robin. This was also used in the TV show Gilmore Girls. Here's some filming locations of Columbo. It was filmed here quite a bit. Here's some scenes with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in the X-Men movie. And if you want to see a list of all the movies and TV shows that were filmed here, here's some lists. If you want to read those and go over them, please pause now and try to find your favorite movie. Notice the pattern on the sidewalk and patios. This back here is where most of David Lynch's eraser head was filmed. And man, it's just a bummer that we can't get back there and look around. That's it right there. That's the stables. That's where uh, that's where a big part of eraser head was filmed. Most of it right there. Such a wonderful history. Go look up. Go look up how they filmed this this movie. I mean, they really did become a wonderful family, really did, during the movie, during the filming of the movie. And as you can see over there, that sign right there says, park closed, I think, beyond this point. I can't really read the whole sign, it's kind of sideways. Anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on it. There it is, as close as we can get. I'm a huge fan of David Lynch, and I'm a huge fan of Eraserhead. I always head. wanted to do a standalone Eraserhead filming location video, but this is pretty much the filming location. There's a few other spots throughout uh, LA, but this is the main spot. So if you can't get back here, um, I don't know. Anyway, moving on. It's right here where Jackie Chan in Rush Hour kicks Bote.
more stairs. This is actually where the swimming pool used to be. They took it out though once it became a public park just due to safety precautions and whatnot. But yep, this used to be the pool. Just getting steps in today. <laughs> I'm getting inclined steps today. <laughs> up there I bet you this is where the dragon is now I don't have a map of this place so it's a little confusing but I'm trying <laughs> I'm trying to cover every inch of this place to come back and tour the inside of this place. Not sure of the, the amount it costs to get in, but I'll pay it. This is awesome. Are you Henry? Yes. A girl named Mary called on the payphone and said she said her parents and you were invited to dinner. This row of giant trees and a sidewalk that leads to a fountain at the end. Wow. This is straight out of a Disney movie. <laughs> What's really cool about this place is it's completely free. Parking is free and to walk around the vicinity of this place is absolutely free. Uh, to get in, to do a tour inside the mansion, I don't know how much it costs. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen here, but it does cost to get inside the gentlemen, I cannot get enough of this area. But I'll tell you what, if you enjoyed this video, going down the history of movies and the history of the mansion. Check this video out over here. You're gonna like that one too. I guarantee it. I'll see you over there. Have a good one.